TTC Sports from the Lacina Siding and Window Sports Wall. What's going on, friends? I'm Julian Mitchell. Tonight on the Sports Wall, I'm not going to waste your time. It's a big day of softball section semifinal action, so let's just get right into it. We're going to start here in 4A, second seed at Owatonna, facing off with the five seed Lakeville North. Pick it up, second inning, no score. Ari Leash changes that with one swing of the bat. That is way back over the fence. It's a solo shot. Owatonna trails 1-0. Still in the inning. Leah Rearson gets a good piece of this one, and it is just out of reach for the left fielder. North will score another on that hit. And jump ahead to the fourth. Owatonna down 3-0. This time Rearson gets all, and I mean all of this one. That is gone. Another solo blast. It's a 4 nothing advantage. The Huskies are not to be outdone. Peyton Glenn with a bouncer to third. It's enough to bring one run home. Make it a 4-1 game. The Huskies climb back in this one. Will fall here 4-3. Owatonna then moved on to the elimination bracket for another shot at the title game. The Huskies, though, held a Farmington 5-2. to two. Let's move to Triple A next. A 1-2 matchup here between Winona and Byron. Now, this is a rematch of last year's semi. Winona won then 3-2. to two. How would this one unfold? Shaping up to be a close one here early. Macy Borowski is doing Macy Borowski things. That's a strikeout. This game, scoreless early. But in the third, Winona got a spark in the form of Evan Hampson. A liner to left field. That will bring one Winhawk to the nest. And put Hampson on second. Winhawks with some energy. one nothing here. Later, Mackenzie Simmons gets in on the action. Rifle down the line for a big-time double. We'll put a Winhawk in scoring position. Up comes Kayla Steffes. He's crushing it in the circle for Winona. Gets it done to the plate. It's a grounder in the center field. Make it 2 nothing. Winona. Watch it here on second base. A little dab for good measure. Good reason to dab, too. Winhawks are headed back to the title game with a 5-3 win. So Winona moving on means Byron to the elimination bracket where the Bears beat the Tigers from Stewartville 5-1. So what a championship matchup we have here. It's a rematch between Byron and Winona. Bears have to win two games here. Winona just won. Game one will be Thursday, 5 p.m. in Austin. Game two to follow. Next to double A, great matchup here. Three seed Dover Yoda looking to knock off top seed St. Charles. We'll join this one, bottom two. Saints up one nothing. And with Chuchna slings this the fence in right center. One run comes in, and another will cha-cha slide on home. A two RBI double puts St. Charles up, three zip. Still in the inning, Grace Baringa hits a grounder and just gets out of the fielder's glove. Another run scores, St. Charles with a four run lead. But that won't clip these Eagles wings. Miranda Palmby. Laces this to deep center to get DE on the board here. Four to one now. St. Charles, though, just too much in this one. Caitlin Judgna, big hit to left center. Add another to the tally. Saints starting to open this one up some more. St. Charles reaches the section championship game, taking this one eight to one. The Eagles face off with the Crescent in that elimination bracket final. DE is headed to Thursday with a 5 to 3 win. What a rebound there. So there will be a rematch in this championship as well. Dover Yoda versus St. Charles. Thursday at 5 p.m. with the game two to follow if the Eagles win game one. Lastly, two single A. Three seed Wabashaw Kellogg facing top seeded Bethlehem Academy. This game a rematch of last year's section title game. Pick it up in the fifth, no score. This ball's punched. Ella Stark makes the grab. That's one. Throw to second. Two. Now the throw to first is high. So that runs scoring, right? Or not. That ball, it's in the catcher's hand. It's a triple play. Wabashaw Kellogg turning up. What a sequence. Both pitchers, both defenses playing so well. That's Morgan Wilson there, collected a K, keeping this thing scoreless. Top of the seventh, still nothing. Wilson comes up big at the plate. That'll leak in the center. The first run of this game scores. WK now one nothing. The Falcons still have to hit. Last chance here, final out. Wilson picks it up. That does it. Abshaw Kellogg falls in a well-played game, one to nothing. Armstrong Kellogg went on to play Hayfield in the elimination bracket final, where it is the Vikings getting the win 13 to 4. So that is a full run through the elimination bracket for Hayfield after dropping its first game of the tournament. So the title game will be between the Vikings and Bethlehem Academy. Game one Thursday at 5 p.m., a 7 p.m. game two to follow 